Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. So, I finished up this earlier this morning with getting rid of all the grass and underpainting the water. So that chore is done. What I want to work on today is this area on top of the waterfall between the road and the waterfall. So this little square rectangular, whatever you want to call it, up here. So I think we're going to have, I want to put the boathouse up here. I want to put the seaweed pond up here. Maybe a small um, house and farmyard um, and a wood chipper and then the rest is going to be forest. And I'll leave your room to put like a sawmill down. So that's what I've got planned for this area up here. So we'll see how it evolves as the day goes on. But I don't know how big this water plane is for me to expand this water out a little bit. So my top of my mountain is... Let me just make you... Into it. Yeah, let me just grab this height real quick and see where we are. It's like 200, I think. Oh, come on. Let me go to round. Let me go to control R. Oh, you're not going to give me the height, are you? Top is 206. 200, that's what I thought. All right, so let's make you visible. Let's see how far I can push this wa water back without losing the plane. Right there. All right, which is fine. So now we can try and make this a little bit bigger or spin it. Or both. I don't want to mess up the edge where the waterfall is, but I want to make it a, just a little bit bigger. All right, that'll work. So that makes that just a little bit bigger. All right, that'll work. I should make sure we've got no grass and stuff in this area to start with. Clean slate. Uh, yeah, let me just get rid of all this grass first. And then, because a lot of this is going to be forest, so we're not going to need much of any grass in this area. That'll get us a clean slate to start with. Be cool if we can get this whole little section done today. definitely want to get rid of this grass. We're not putting any fields or anything in this spot. So let's give ourselves a nice clean slate to work with. We need any grass we can always put it back in but where we want it I think it's spin around just easier to see the grass go in this direction the way the lighting is
it's just as much of a pain in the neck taking it out as it is putting it in. Alright, now one more section. And the other thing I want to do to prep this area is I want to get the roads, if they're not already done, I want to get these roads underpainted. So that part's done. Sassy155, good morning. So let's go back. I, I think I was on gravel. Let's go back to... I lost it. Gravel. Let me go back to square. And then... We just get this area underpainted so it's done and I don't have to worry about it and we can just have fun building. we get this done I started working over by the BGA star I started laying out some fields but they're not finished they're not numbered I don't have the corner markers in all I did was paint in a couple fields I don't have the grass done around them so we may if we get this square done today we may go down there and finish those couple fields but it was just busy work until I because I was up early so it was just busy work until I had to, until I went live I don't like going live too early oh stop too far Now, around the corner, it's a little bit tricky sometimes with the square brush, but that's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just gravel under the road. It makes it easier when we build the map. And then if we could paint it out too far, I can always come back in and fix it with the next texture when we go to put if we're going to do grass around along the road or if this is going to be all forest probably take the forest right out to this road all right that should work now let's just head over to the end of the road and we have our prep work done. Now we can start having fun. So I'll probably do a couple of three factories in this area. And then we'll it'll be one farmland. So and then we'll fence it in, make you buy it. And build it. So this will be the first test on a buildable forest to see if it actually works or not. done so this corner is ready for us to work on today uh, a little bit of work on the mountain first hold on almost done so let's get that edge completely flat yeah that edge is completely flat all right so let's just raise up this mountain a little bit so there's a little bit of a lip so you don't fall off so let's turn this down a little bit so let's go back to round and then let's take parts of this 
and just raise it just a little bit so there's a little bit of a ledge and then we'll come and spin around and we'll fix the top of the mountain so let's take a little bit of a ledge over towards here I don't want much just enough so you know there's an edge there and then I've got a couple of holes here I want to bring up I don't want it too tall but I want to let's take a couple of these holes and bring them up a little bit without messing up the waterfall something just like that and oh maybe not let's fill this in a little bit here so it's yeah like that All right, that'll work now let's grab a little bit of no, a little bit hang on still don't like that A little bit more. Alright, that'll work. I'm going to smooth it a little bit. Alright, that'll work. Now let's grab our Cliff Rock Dark. And we'll define the edge of our mountain. little bit of paint. Alright, something like that. Alright, I think first up is we'll do the oh no got the we gotta fix the mountain on this side first. Alright, so let me just come along here a little bit and let's raise this up. little bit of a ridge I forgot when I put the waterfall in I didn't come back and fix the mountain on the top a little bit of a ridge and then on this side yeah and then on this side the same thing we'll just bring it up a little bit so it makes more sense Without getting too close and messing up a waterfall. Alright, let's see, yeah, something like that. I want to take it around. Yeah, let's bring it around so you don't fall off this ledge. Let's go back here. And just bring this up a little bit. Alright, yeah, that'll work. So let me grab back to our mountain rock. just a little bit more right, so something like that Oop. Right, something like that alright that'll work now let's grab our 
Cliff Rock. Let me smooth this over here just a little bit. like that. Now, where we'll put the boathouse I think on one side, the seaweed pond on the other side. Oh, I know what I want to do also. Oh, that that can wait a minute. All right, so let's come over here to global comp. So waterfall I'm done with. Let's close places I don't need open fields I don't need open. So that can get closed. That can get closed. Let's go to global company. We'll start with we'll duplicate this a couple times because we're going to need a few of them today. So first one up, uh, we're going to put the boathouse in. So let's go file import boathouse. Uh, we're going to go edit, cut, and paste. That work. And we're going to plop you here and see what kind of mess we have to fix. Oh, there's an extra water plane in here which I can use. Perfect. Now, how do I want the boathouse to sit? Lighter back a minute, and we'll spin it. We'll probably remove some of the fencing. Let's see how it looks about here. Um, you are. Oh, I know why. Okay. How are you on height? You're about perfect on height. Yeah, we could put trees all the way around it. Yeah, 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 I like it. I think it's going to stay right where it is. Now, I do want to take one thing, though. I want to grab, where's that extra water plane? This one. I just want to make it visible so I know it's there. I'm going to slide it out of the way, and we'll deal with that later. Now, all right, so the first thing I want to get in is the watery area going in. Uh, so let's go to top of the hill is 206. So let's start at 205.5. We're going to take this down really slow. So we get the height of the water right where the boats spawn in. Alright, so I need a little bit more. So let's go to 205. Uh, so where's my water plane? Is my water plane still there? Yeah, my water plane is still there. All right, we may have to pull the water plane up a little bit. Now I need to go right to the bottom of these. Let me take my speed down. We have to go so we're just under these spawners. So we're going to peel this back slowly until I get the right height. All right, so let's go to 204. 4.5. I'll take it down just a little bit more. That's going to be, I think, right where we want it. That'll work. So 204.5 is going to be our water height. And I'm going to leave it highlighted in green for now just so I know where I want my water.
back and clean up the edges here in a minute. I'm going to rough some of this in real quick. All right, so that's that side. Now I got to push it back a little bit. And then I know it's hard to see with this highlighted in green, but I'll, we'll get there in a second. All right, so I want to get a little bit of water going under the building. And we have to get a little bit of water coming out on this side of the building. We got some rowboats hiding under here somewhere. like this. Now I can, let's click off of that a second. Let me get, this smooth it out a little bit. Alright, so let's go with Let's go with the pig mud. For, oh, wrong one. Let's go with the pig mud for now. So we can define our water. And then we'll have to come in and move these boats and stuff around so they're not floating. Alright, that's that side. We'll come back and fix those floaty boats in a minute. Let me smooth the edges out. Uh, go down on my strength. Alright, so let's work. Entrance coming in, because we want that transition pretty smooth. Work our way around. And then a little bit here. And then this entrance, I'm actually going to cut back a little bit further. So let's take you back. And then we'll smooth you out. Uh, well now let's get some mud in here and we'll get a better look at, and see how it is. Once we get the, oh, let me push, hold on, let me push this back a little bit more here. Same thing over here. Let's push this back a little bit more here. And now we're about to road in and out later. Right now I just want to get the, my water and my spawners at the right height. Alright, so how does that look? And are my boats floating? Now the boats are about right. The water level's about right. Uh, these couple boats are about right. Now I'll probably just got to fix a couple floaters over here. And give this a little bit more of a smooth. Now, how are you guys? We really won't know until we get in game. Oh, come on. Yeah. You're going to be a full of water, I think. Yeah, so you're going to have to. Let's move you. Let's turn you this way. And we'll 
will tilt you up this way. So you're not in the water. Something like that. Yeah, we're going to probably have to go in-game and see what these look like and then come back in and adjust them. Slide you down a little bit more. And then, how's my fencing? Did I go too far on? I did. So let's go back to 206. And let's bring our land back a little bit so our fence is not floating. that side and then how's our fence on this side uh, I think we're good all right so that should fix that side now let's get rid of we are not going to need this long fence on this side anymore so let's get rid of parts of this fence Take it back to where the firewood is. Yeah, about there. So that makes sense on that side. Uh, so that side looks good. This side looks good. Now, what do we have going on over here? And where do we drop off our logs? We drop off our logs on that side. I think here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these log piles. We're going to move them over here. Where they make a little bit more sense. Floating. So we'll throw one there. We'll throw another one about here. And then get rid of this mess on this side and open this side completely up so you can go you can go and then fence on this side can go So that's going to open this property up a little bit. Alright, let me do a quick save. Farm Chick 63, good morning. Ladies th and gentlemen, thank you for taking time out of your day stopping in and saying hello.
wait for this to finish saving. There we go. Now that is the boathouse. I want to get, I also want to get the seaweed pond in here. I think we're going to go over on this side. And that will give us a lot of room to put, make this a small forest. All right, so let's close. We don't have that that the boathouse running yet. I just want to get it in for now. So let's grab this transform group. We're going to call it seaweed pond. I'm going to duplicate that one. So we're going to need a couple more. All right, so let's go file import. Let's import in the seaweed pond, and we'll go. Edit, cut, and paste. There we go. Edit, and we'll just get it here for now. And I think it's missing the water plane. I think that's what that water plane is for. It's for this factory. So I think, how do I want to turn this? Yeah, that's the water plane for this factory. I actually, ooh, how do I want to go? I think we're going to go something like this. This, we're going to change this. Now I don't need to change the fencing up because that's an area you're not going to want to get into anyway. But let's, I do want to back it up a little bit. That's too close to the waterfall. So let me do this. Let's go back here. Let me pull it back this way. Spin it a little bit more this way. Oh, wrong one. So let's get it. Um, what do we got? We got stuff spawning on that side. So let's pull, pull it out away from the mountain a little bit. Make a road going between the mountain and the seaweed pond. Actually, hold on. Let's go like this. Because this side, there's nothing on this side. There's no triggers on this side at all. So that would make more sense. Alright, that makes more sense. Now let's bring our water plane in. Get it at ground level for now. Go a little bit wider. All right, now let me drop this under the ground a little bit. Let's go back to 205 a minute. And we'll see where, yeah. We'll get our seaweed, so we'll grab our seaweed so it's not underground. How's that height going to be on the water? We may have to adjust the water up and down a little bit. But let me get this. Let me get them exposed and then we'll uh, get the water adjusted. Right, 
something like that and give, this, give the edges a quick smooth. Alright, now let's get the water adjusted so it's just... So our lily pads are like just floating, something like that. Alright, that'll work. I may have to push the water back a little bit here and there. So let's get this side pushed back a little bit more. Yeah, and then we'll just smooth out. Alright, that'll work. We're, we're, okay, we're still on Pigmon, so let's get get this area non-grassy. And it gives us our darker surface to see our lily pads on. Alright, so how do you look now? Right, I think that will be fine. Again, it's not functioning yet, it's just in. Um, so, uh, what are we working on today? I What we are working on today is, yesterday when I left you, I was working on underpainting. I got that all finished. So I got all the grass removed under the water, and I got all the water repainted back in. So that part's done. Today we're working on, let me come over on this side. So today we're working on this whole square between the waterfall and the road. We're going to do the boathouse, the seaweed pond, I'm going to do um, a wood chipper, we're going to do a small farmhouse and farmyard, and then the rest of it's going to be forest. So it's be like a small wooded area. small little forest to work with and it's, it's going to be again it's going to be one farmland so this whole property will be one farmland and then it's going to and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to wall it in and make you like open it up and that kind of stuff So that is what we are working on today. So ignore all the green. This is probably going to, almost all of this is going to get underpainted with uh, our forest ground. Alright, boathouse is in, seaweed pond is in. I actually like where they're sitting. I want to take the wood chipper and I want to put it more over here. So wood chippers coming in next. So let's come back down here. And again, the boathouse is not functioning yet. The seaweed pond is not functioning yet. We're just working on getting them in. All right, wood chipper is going to come in next. So we're going to go edit cut. Wood chipper edit paste and then let's just get it in. I think we're gonna go how do you look at like minus forty five? Yeah, so we'll get you lined up with this corner and pull you back in away from the road a little bit. Something about here. How is your height? I don't need to drop you anymore because I think you're right on the ground. Yep, you're right on the ground. Alright, so that works. So that's where our wood chipper is going to be. And we'll have... Actually, this is going to turn out to be a bigger forest than I... That's actually fine because what I'll do is I will... We'll leave a big open area in the middle so you can put your own your own uh, mammoth mill down. 
So when we fill this up with trees, I'll leave an empty area right in the middle. All right, so before we go any further, let's get these three functioning. But before I get these functioning, we're going to have to paint in a farmland. So we're going to, let's grab a new farmland. And then we'll see how expensive it is once we get in game. Let's call it Boat House. Forest, so the whole area will be the boathouse forest. Um, it's going to be farmland 17. And so I want bits 0 and 4. So 0 and 4, so we're number 17. And again, I'm going to overpaint it and we'll fix it when we come back in with the next farmland. So the next farmland will paint like right up to the road, but I don't want to be missing any squares under the road, so that's why I overpaint it and then come back. Because if you're missing one little square, it throws a farmland error. And what I mean by one little square is if you come down here and I paint, and if you, if you don't see it and you're missing just that one little square out of the whole area when you paint it in, it throws an error. So that's why I like to overpaint and then fix it when I butt the next farmland up to it. But this will be one big area. We'll take it out to the road. On this side. And again, I'm going to overpaint. We'll fix it coming back in. And we'll take it up to the mountain. There we go. I need to move my mouse. And I'll bring you, yeah, I'll bring you right along the waterfall. And then, I don't know how expensive this land will be till we get in game. And we can adjust the price from there. Right along the water. There we go. Now we just color between the lines. All right, so that's going to be our defined area for this farmland. And we are farmland 17. So let's. So you are now going to be farmland 17. Our seaweed pond is going to be 17, and our boathouse is going to be 17. So let's go to our wood chipper first. I'm going to let's do a quick. Let's do another quick save. And now we're going to have to get our XMLs done for these three factories before we do textures and trees and all that jazz. I want to get these functioning. Now, 
um, this weekend, I don't know if I can stream or not, it depends on how the Wi-Fi is, because I have a really hard time streaming on the weekends. But I've got, we have to do a major update to all the other three maps, not Homestead, to get all the new fill types and stuff in for future factories. So I'll probably take a break from this map on the weekend, and we'll get the other three maps updated. Alright, so the first thing up is... Um, so we have our 110. You are, I'm just going to close this to make sure I got the right 110 open for the right factory. So for the right map. So let's come here. Let's go back to this 110. All right, we'll get that open. Now I pulled these factories out of Ritchieville. So I'm going to go up to, into the Ritchieville map. So documents. Uh, Ritchieville to the Ritchieville 110. And we're going to find the boathouse. So we're going to pull the boathouse into the new map. So we'll come down here. So boathouse, we need the seaweed pond. So let's grab this one and we'll get this one in here and we'll rename them in a minute and then uh, uh, before we go any further so I need placeables global company placeables global company. I want to grab the boathouse. I'm going to copy this one over here. We're going to grab the seaweed pond. I'm going to copy that one over here. Now I'm done with Ritchieville. Let's open up uh, documents my game um, homestead. I need the 110 from the homestead map and I grab the wood chipper out of here. So I'm going to grab the wood chipper from here, move it into our map, and then I'm done with that 110. And the only th other thing I need now is the XML. So let's copy that one into here. All right, so those are my XMLs. Let's get the wood chipper working first. And what's my icon name? Islands with a capital I. So the first thing I have to change is icon is island. So that'll spawn in not throw an error. Alright, so that's the first one. Then we take, let's come to the 110 first. Uh, let's, so we're working on the wood chipper, so let's come down here. Um, Richie is the same, so we just have to change homestead to valley. Uh, replace with valley so it's capital R capital V capital R capital V R so that wood chipper should be fine we're going to input wood we're going to get our wood chips and our resins we're not changing anything there so homestead gets replaced with valley so that's everything there we didn't change the factory so we don't even need to touch any of the i3d mapping everything should be fine I'll just double check just one or two but everything should be fine so player trigger is six player trigger six cameras yeah we don't have to touch anything there so technically 
our wood chipper should now work. Let's grab our tour icon and get that in. So where am I? Um, where did my icons go? Right here. All right. So let's grab poultry house. Um, edit interactive placement and we'll get it, figure out where our player trigger was. Um, we need a new game save for these new updates. No, um, if I'm gonna try my best to get everything in with an existing save game. I hate restarts. It's one of my pet peeves. All right, so where is my player trigger? So player trigger is over just a hair. So we just gotta slide this guy over a little bit. To about there. All right, and we're going to call him a wood chipper. All right, now let's grab our hot spot. And a wood chipper. Yeah, restarts are a big pet peeve of mine, so I will do my best never to make a map restart. All right, so you're the wood chipper. Let's grab our X and our Z. So our X and our Z. That should be wood chipper done. So let's get the seaweed pond in next. So where is your, minimize that a minute. So where is your player trigger? So your player trigger is right there. Let's come back down here, duplicate that one, pull you up out of the ground and then push you in right about there I think was R. You are seaweed pond. Are you under our player trigger? You are right under the player trigger. Perfect. So let's get this guy in. up is a seaweed pond. A seaweed pond. And then our X. And Alright, so that's going to be our hot spot for our player trigger. Now our seaweed pond, I made, I deleted a couple things when I imported it into the map, so we're going to have to check our I3D mapping on this building and the boathouse. Uh, farm chick, yeah, great, yeah, I, duh, yeah, restarts are, are not fun. Alright, so 110, let's go to our 110 first. So we have to change, we might as well do both of them at the same time. Let's change Ritchieville to Ritchie Valley. All right, so that part done. Seaweed Pond, are we changing anything up? No, we're going to put byproducts and power cells in, and you'll get your seaweed and your dead cells. We're not changing anything with the factory. 
So let's grab our seaweed pond. And we have to change all of Ritchieville to Ritchie Valley. But we have to fix our icon because our icon only says, and I have to change this, islands. Um, not changing anything with the factory. The only thing we have to check is our i3D mapping. Uh, we didn't change anything with visibility nodes, so they should be fine. Let's just check some of our mapping to make sure nothing has changed. So none of our ends should have changed. So you're going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, so they didn't change. Audio, yeah, audio is now number 10. So I'm going to have to go through these. Audio is now number 10. Our loading triggers are 1,000, so none of those have changed. Camera is number 8, so that's good. Player trigger is now number 9. Uh, we got to go back and check our particle effects. So smoke make sure none of these have moved. They haven't. So smoke is number seven, so they didn't change. All right, so that should be good. So our seaweed pond should now work. So let's move on to the boathouse. Oh, we are gonna change these up a little bit. I wanna make you bring I'm not going to do it for the wood chipper or the seaweed pond, but we're going to add workers to the boathouse. So we're going to change the boathouse up here a little bit. We're going to add workers. All right, boathouse, where is my player trigger? My player trigger is right here. So let's get our icon in first because I always forget it. So duplicate that. And then get it out of the ground a little bit. And I think you were like right there. But let's rename you first. Boat House. And then let's come up here to the Boat House. Yeah, it's right where the player trigger should stay. So let's get this guy done. Control V, Boathouse. Boathouse, oh, capital H. And then our X and Z, and the hotspots for this area for now will be done. This guy is going to go here. All right, so hot spot done. Hot spot done. Now we're going to add workers to this factory. I'm not going to make you build these, but I'm going to make you open up this area. Now, we need, we're going to have to drop off some workers. And where the heck am I going to put it? Um, okay, we're going to put it over here. So let me come down here. Duplicate that. Let's come up to our boathouse. Let's go edit, cut, and paste, and throw you over here. 
here. I like it over. I know we're gonna put it over here. Make it drop off your workers over here. with the bendy bus. The bendy bus is so much fun to drive. And down just a little bit. All right, so that's gonna be our passenger, or our workers. Now I'm gonna need another input trigger. Uh, let's grab this guy, let's duplicate him. Let's call this one workers. don't need the pallet trigger so I can delete that one. Let's grab the regular trigger. We got to get it moved over here. So we'll stick that right there and how many exact fill routes do we have? We don't have it open yet. Let's open up the bait house. Um, oh I did have it open. Oh, not the bait house. What am I thinking? The boat house. There we go. We still got to change Ridgeville. We only have one. Okay, yep, that makes sense. So you are going to be, let's just number this one, number three, just to be different. So workers will be exact field route number three. And did I lose my stream? No, I think I'm good. No, I think I'm good. All right. So workers are going to be number three. So let's fix our, before we get any further in this factory, let's fix our 110. So you are going to be islands. You are going to be Ritchie Valley. So let's get these taken care of. All right, so that's the first part. Let's go to our 110. Now for our boathouse, we're going to have another input. Uh, we're going to input number three. Uh, we're going to add workers in as another input. So now we come over here and we copy our trigger. Uh, we unite, it's going to be workers. It is going to be number three. And we have no pallet trigger. So there's our input trigger for our workers. I have to add an input in. Um, let me grab you. You have to go under wood, so you have to come down here. But you are now number three. You are workers. Um, capacity that was only 360. Fill type, workers, trigger, workers. So there's our input. We have to add it to the production line. So we're going to add workers as an input into the factory, but it's only going to be 1%. So they don't go through the workers real fast. All right. So that part, now I know my I3D mapping is going to be messed up because I took a couple things out of this factory. 
So let's grab our exact fill root first. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it back in. We have to add number three for the workers. And that is number zero, two, and zero. So the I3D mapping there is going to be good. Audio is still number five, so that one's good. Beacon, I'm getting rid of the beacon. I hate them, so we're going to take the beacon out. And we're going to take the beacon out up here. They're so annoying. All right, so beacon is out. Uh, player trigger is number two. Camera is number six. Uh, let's check our smoke, make sure that didn't move. So where's my particle systems? Operating parts, particle systems. That one's good. That one's good. So they're number 10. So they didn't change. So that didn't change. None of my logs have changed. None of my spawners have changed. All right, so I think we're good here. I think we're good here. Uh, we have... All right, so our boathouse. So you are changed to number 17. You were changed to 17, and you're changed to 17. Let's do another save on the map. While that's saving, I want to double check our 110. So we renamed it Ritchie Valley on all three, so that part's fixed. Um, boathouse, we added our workers. Nothing there has changed. Seaweed Pond, we didn't change. Wood Chipper, we didn't change. So everything here has been renamed Ritchie Valley. So that should be good. Seaweed Pond, let me try saved it. Yeah, that's saved. Seaweed Pond, everything is renamed Ritchie Valley. So there's, we're good there. Boathouse, Boathouse, everything was renamed Valley, so we're good there. Let's jump in game, and we'll see if this, if these, any, any of these three factories are throwing any errors. Save game eight. Make sure they function, then we'll make it pretty. First thing I want to do is I want to see if they are on the map, and they are. So we have our wood chipper, we have our boathouse, we have our seaweed pond. So that's the first good sign. How much is this farmland going to cost? 1.6 million, but you're getting three factories. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. So that, we're going to leave it there. Let's just teleport up here a minute. And we'll make sure, let's buy the, let me throw some money in here so we can buy the property. And make sure none of it's going to throw Lua errors. And while I'm here, let's grab some speed. So we buy the property. We should now get triggers. So Seaweed Pond looks good. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll run out here first, and then we'll go back to the boathouse. wood chipper. We're good. We're going to throw in our wood. We're going to get our wood chips and our resin. So what I want to do is I want to see if any of our boats are floating or sunk. Uh, we got some water in the boat, so I'll have to raise our boats. I'll either raise the boats up a little bit or drop the water a little bit. Alright, um, and then how do... Uh, let's check the trigger while we're right here. So glue, logs, workers. We're going to actually change it up. We're going to do glue or resin. So we're going to change this up maybe a little bit. And we have to add our worker, so that part is done. So how do you guys look? Uh, a little bit of water in the green boat. Red boat should be fine. This guy, the blue boat, we're going to move. i got to do some work on the land a little bit here. So this area here has got to get fixed a little bit. Big question is, is are the rowboats going to spawn in properly? I don't have any trees. What do you take? You take glue and log, glue logs and workers. I actually, we actually, I can cheat them in. Let me make sure the rowboats are going to spawn properly before we go back into the editor. So let me grab. Um, let me grab. this guy let's grab this guy if the rowboats don't spawn in properly then it becomes a big nightmare to get them adjusted so I just want to test that before we go back in the editor before we start making this area pretty so let's come over here so right now you take glue, so let's fill you with glue. Hold on, before I run off the edge of the mountain. Let's go back here, let's fill you with glue. So let's get you over to the trigger. Man, I can't even drive today. Let's back you into the trigger. Because I've been up for like three hours, I'm only on my second cup of coffee. All right, so there's our glue. Let's get that unloaded. And that's fine. I don't need a lot because we're not... We're not doing a big test. So now come over here. Let's go F11. Um, logs. Yeah, we'll throw some logs in the trigger. So that sh should we now should we should now have glue and logs in there. We do. Um, so let me grab the bendy bus. And don't look if you don't want to see me cheating passengers in here. Ooh, we got to get in it first. So don't look. Don't look. Alright, now you can look. Look, we got a bus full of workers. Let's deliver them to the factory. <laughs> the bendy bus. Bendy bus is so much fun to drive. Alright, let's come over here. Whoa, the Bendy bus don't turn well. 
Let's get the bendy bus in front of the bus. All right, we're gonna have to come out here and do a Yui. The bendy bus don't turn very well. So let's get the bendy bus over by the bus stop. And then we'll get our workers unloaded. There we go. Now our people can come in here and they can make us some rowboats and surfboards. Make sure this goes active. Oh, why are you off? What are you, why are you off? That means it's throwing an error. Um, hold on, I gotta check something now. I gotta see what's throwing a Lua error. Because that should have went active. So what am I missing? Unknown animation, that's for the bus. We're working on that error right here. Selling station Walmart. Oh, no store data found. All right, I gotta fix Walmart. Are you telling me because Walmart's messed up, it's not gonna make my boat factory work? Yeah, corrupt save game because Walmart's not working. Damn it. All right, let's go fix Walmart or these factories aren't going to work. So, unfortunately, I can't save this. So, let's get out of here. Let's fix Walmart because Walmart's corrupting our save game. Because I forgot to add the XML into the store dev. Something that stupid. I think that's what the error was. So where's my Walmart error? Error. Selling station Walmart placeable. Error right here. No store data found. All right. So let's go back to place Ritchie Valley. Uh placeables, selling stations, selling station, selling station, selling station, Walmart. Now my i3D should be fine. Placeables, selling station, selling station new to, selling station new too. So my i3D mapping is correct. I think I forgot it in the mod description. Uh, placeable selling station. Selling station. Am I missing Walmart? No, we've got Walmart. Placeable selling station. Oh, selling station singular. No, selling stations, plural. My pathing is Ritchie Valley, which I don't need. So placeables, selling station. Placeables, selling stations, lowercase s, capital S, so that's correct. And then selling station Walmart. Selling station Walmart, so my XML is correct is my items where's my items xml right here so we have map directory placeables selling stations selling station walmart xml how is there no store data found? Here's my store data. How is Walmart throwing an error? Placeable. Oh, maybe. Hold on. So it's placeable. I think I know. Why are you coming up as placeable? Do 
that's wrong. Why is that wrong? Um, they're all going to be wrong. Let me check Lucy's. Yeah, Lucy's even says placeable. Did they change something in the last update? So you say, let me go back to my 110, where are my items XML? So you say what? Map found ID, st selling station Walmart, class name is selling station placeable. So let's not compare it to Lucy's, let's compare it to wood or wood chips because they're working and it's not throwing an error. So let me pull up. Let me pull up wood chips and we'll compare those. So you, you are species placeable. So that's fine. Walmart is placeable. So that's fine. Do I have one too many selling station? Hold on, that may be the problem. Store data, placeable type. Yeah, I think that may be the problem. File name is fine, placement is one. Yeah, we have one too many selling station. So you, are they both the same? Yes, yeah, so you have to go. So now I should have one complete bracket in purple. I do. I think that was the problem. So let's go back in and see if that fixed the error. Back to a new save game. start you up before we go any further let's throw some money in here really quick let's grab my speed I'm gonna buy this property first now I'm gonna check for errors all right so now let's come back out here go to the log and we'll see if they got rid of our corrupt save game error all right, so yeah, Walmart's no longer throwing an error. So we no longer have a corrupt save game. So there's one thing I want to check on the boathouse. I want to make sure that this is set to true. So it automatically turns on. So you're set to true, you're set to true. So you should automatically start once we put all the products in. So let's come back. Let me get rid of this map. So let's come back up here. So let's come back over here. Let's grab our, let's try this again. I want to make sure these bolts are going to spawn properly before we make this area look nice. Anchor. And before I start rolling away this time, I'll throw some glue in here. There we go. Let's, let's grab, oh, wrong one. Let's grab some glue. drive around to the trigger. Stop. 
get our glue in there. Now we'll come over here, we'll cheat some logs in. cheated us in some logs. Alright, so now you're still disabled, so the only thing I need now should be our workers, so the bendy bus. Uh, let's get on the bendy bus. Let's close your eyes so you don't see me cheating anything in. And then we'll, we, now that we have the bendy people on the bendy bus, Let's drive them over to the bus stop. This is so much fun to drive. Now let's unload the bendy people off of the bendy bus. Now, this should have gone active. If this doesn't go active, then we have a problem with this factory. Why is it off? It should be active. We have everything in it. We Oh, there we go. It went active now. All right. That's better. Now, let's grab some. Let me come over here where the boats spawn in. And I'm going to grab some time. And I want to see, make sure these boats are going to spawn in properly. And they're going to bounce around. So I may, yeah, I'm going to have to drop this water. The water is a little bit too high. I'll watch a couple, I'm going to watch a couple of them come in and see if they bounce. I may have, for, yeah, we're going to kind of, we'll have to go in and check a few things. I'm going to watch one more spawn in. I just want to leave it on 120 speed. I don't want to go to 2000 speed. I want to watch this next one spawn in. Now that one was fine kind of sort of. It didn't really bounce. Let's watch another one spawn in. Yeah, this water is too high. We've got to drop the water level. As soon as this next one spawns in, I'm going to save this and exit. We're going to make a couple slight adjustments. Come on, next boat, drop in. I know you're. It takes an hour of in game time. But I need to see if you're going to bounce. Come on, I don't want to go to 2000 speed. And I know you're not out of materials. Or did it mess the trigger up when it bounced? Let's 
Come on, I'll forward another hour. If another boat doesn't spawn in, we'll go. I'll slow time down and we'll check the trigger. Now it's not touching the next trigger. But that should have came in by now. Let me go down to one speed. Let me go check and see if the factory turned itself off. Oh, we're out of workers. Oh, it's going to burn through workers way too quick. Crap. I can't put more than 120 on the bus. I can't go less than 1%. That's going to be a problem. We, we may not be able to use workers. We may have to trash the whole worker thing. Let me try something. Let's, um, I'm going to try something. Let's, uh, so let me save this. Uh, save game. Uh, quit game. I want to look at something. I can't put more than 120 on the bus, or the you won't. The people won't spawn in. Now there is something I want to look at. Let me pull up. Let me pull up. The slaughterhouse for a minute. Now when I put in a cow I can tell it how many liters it is per animal. I'm gonna have to classify workers as an animal and then I think Let me look at something. Where's my fill types? How are... Animal. Um, actually, let me try something. No, because that's going to mess up the crap. So Slaughterhouse is liters per animal. All right, I'm going to try couple things really oh, is animal types true is oh let me try something let me come here let's go to Walmart I can close let's go to the boathouse let's come up to our inputs for our workers I'm gonna change this for a minute we're going to go fill type name. We're going to go workers. Um, so liters per worker is going to be 5,000 liters per worker. I don't know if this is going to work. Let me change this to false. Um, let me change this capacity to like 36,000. Uh, let's just go 360,000 for now. So is, is animal types false? So it's not going to be considered an animal. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's give it a shot. Uh, let's jump back in game a minute. I can oh, I can't categorize workers as an animal it's gonna mess up my all my animal XMLs I mean, 
if we have to, <laughs> we can make an animal pen for uh, <laughs> for people. Uh, that would be just cruel. Let's go uh, workers. Now, if I drop you off, I'm dropping off 120 workers. How many liters did that now give me? Uh, where's my global company icon? Uh, where did my global company icon go? Over here. Nope, it didn't give me any worker, so that's not going to work. It did, but it didn't count them the way I wanted to count them. Alright, so let's come back out of here. I'm going to try something. Well, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try two things. I'm going to change this back to true. I'm going to save that. So let's change it to what I want to drop a little bit. Let's go 2,000 liters per worker. Just for now. This is all trial and error. I'm going to come to my fill type XML. I'm going to add in here workers under category animal for just for a minute. And let's jump back in here. Did I lose my stream? No, I didn't lose my stream. I don't think I lost my stream. My phone is, if it is, my phone's lagging like way behind. I may have to reset my phone. No, I think I'm good. All right, so let's come back up here. Let's cheat in workers again. And we'll get them unloaded. Workers are not accepted here. Ah, so that's not going to work. Because I need an animal trigger. Oh, wrong one. All right, so it's not going to accept workers there now. Yeah, this whole worker concept may not work now because I can't get more than 120 on the bus. Let me check the log for a minute. See if by me adding workers to animals, it's throwing any errors. It is. What's not fill type? Oh, because, um, yeah, it's not counting my workers now as a fill type. It's counting them as an animal. So input workers does not exist. So if we come back to the boathouse, I know what's wrong now. Let's go to the slaughterhouse. I need an input trigger. So let's grab this guy and let's move it over here now to the boathouse. So we're going to remap our trigger three, zero, two, and zero. So I'm going to delete that a minute. We're going to call this zero, two, and zero. Now let's see if that works. Half, see, half the fun of map building is trial and error to make new shit work. So let's come back in here and see if it will accept my workers. And then if it accepts the workers, then we're going to go. We're going to try something even a little bit better.
I'm going to try something if this actually works so let me come over here let's try putting workers in here again so are you so nope no trigger still no trigger okay so let's go let's try this come on get out of there let me go to let's go back to our log see what what okay so it's still not it still doesn't like input of workers No exact fill root or bail node was found for exact fill root three. All right, hold on. So now let's come up here. Let's get rid of fill root three up here. Actually, before I do that, let me go to the slaughterhouse and see if I how my triggers are. All right, hold on. We're going to do something even a little bit different. Let's grab. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the boathouse. We're going to delete trigger three up here. I'm going to come back to the slaughterhouse. I'm going to grab um, nope, um, we're good. I should have everything I need. We have our fill type. We have our trigger. But it's not a livestock trigger. So input is cow, so input should be input workers, so that line, top line is correct, and then the next line is fill type should be worker, and then leaders per worker. So fill type is workers, leaders per animal, but it's not really an animal. And then we have our, oh, I can get rid of this. So this has to go. Let's try that. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to change the trigger out for a livestock trigger. And we'll see if it works that way. And then we're going to have to go back and fix every other factory that takes workers. And we're going to have the same problem if this actually works. And we have to go to the animal dealer to make sure <laughs> when we go to it doesn't want us to buy workers at the animal dealer but that actually may be cool if we add workers in at the animal dealer and you don't have any you can go buy them at the animal dealer <laughs> that would just be wrong all right um, still no trigger. Alright, so I'm still not getting a trigger for workers. Um, so let me check something. Oh, because the trigger's dead. Yeah, hold on, I know what we have to do. Let's get out of here. We have to change that trigger to a livestock trigger. So let's do that. Let's try changing out the trigger. We can always put it back. All right, so let's come back in here. Oh, where are, over here. All right, so let's come over here a minute and then let's take trigger three uh, let's delete trigger three let's go to the slaughterhouse I'm gonna grab cow I'm gonna duplicate that I'm gonna go to the boathouse 
we're going to paste it in here. Oh, what happened? Cow. Okay, hold on. Edit. Cut. In. Edit. Paste. There we go. We're going to call it workers. We don't need the visibility node, so we're going to delete the cows. <laughs> Where's our animal load trigger? Edit interactive placement. Bam. Let's put you here and see if this trigger will work. I don't know if this trigger is going to work with the bus. That's the problem. So you are still 0, 2, and 0. So let's save the map. Let's come back here to the boathouse. So you are 0, 2, and 0. So there's my livestock trigger. Uh, Winston... Winston, hello, 9587. Thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. I am trying to get something, a new concept to work, and I'm having some issues with getting it to work. I know I'm talking in circles, but we're making workers which are essentially people that you have to take to the factory. But the problem is I can only fit 120,000 liters on the bus. And if I drop 120,000 liters of workers in the factory and I even take it down to 1% of input, which I can't go any lower on global company, 1% is the lowest. I can't go a half a percent or a quarter of a percent. It burns through the workers too fast. So I'm trying to get the workers added in like livestock and I'm not getting the trigger to unload workers like I would a cow. I can drop them off on a regular trigger. I can't get them to unload. Any other way. Now if I go back to an exact food route, I can get workers to unload but it only counts them as 120 liters. Let me check the log again. All right, so workers are still giving me a hard time. unknown animal type so I cannot classify them as an animal actually I might be able to classify them as an animal hold on um, unknown animal type So if I go to here and I go to can I force workers to be an animal. No, because then they're going to want to show up in the animal dealer. And 
and then we're going to have to feed them and all that crap. Actually, I might be able to just take all that to zero. Let me try something. Uh, let me take um, this guy a minute. Uh, let me try something. Let me copy him. Oh, that's not going to work. I need the whole category. All right, hold on. Let me come down here to where Donkey is. I want to try something. So we take this animal type. Let's copy this down to here. Let's call it a worker. Um, class is going to stay animal breeding type. Um, I'm gonna tr this is all experimental. Our we're gonna go worker. Uh, I'm gonna go worker. I'm going to have to add a HUD in, but can be bought false. Uh, store type, animals, I'm going to leave that for now. Um, I'm going to leave all that for now. Straw per day, zero. Water per day, zero food per day, zero, zero, zero. Breeding rate is going to be zero. Uh, crap. I'm going to leave that there for now. I don't think this is going to work either. I don't think that's going to work either, but let's try. I'll mess around with this off camera if I can't get this to work. We'll just continue building. I'll take workers out of the factory for now until I can figure out how we can get it to work without throwing errors. I think I can create an Animals 2 and an animal husbandry to XML, I think I might be able to get it to work. But I'll mess around with it off camera. If this doesn't work, I'll take workers out of the factory for now. And we'll mess around with it at another another day. So let me just throw a bus full of workers. Yeah, I'm not getting a trigger. Yeah, I'm not getting a trigger. All right, we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to get rid of workers for now, and I'll mess with that later and try and get it to work. Um, workers, input workers. Fill type. It's ignoring the fill type because it's telling me my input of workers doesn't exist. So we have our boathouse input three are workers. Boathouse input three are workers. I tried this at false and it still doesn't work. All right, for now, we're going to get rid of it, and then I'll mess with it later and try and get it working. So we'll take workers out for now. We'll take workers out for now. So I want to finish this area today, and I can mess around with trying to get this to work 
off camera. So let's take you out of there. Let's go back to our animal husbandry XML. Let's get rid of this. And then let's go back to our fill types and let's get rid of this. Now, there's one thing I maybe if I change it just to bulk four. Let me try one other thing and then we're just going to go back to. Um, let me try one more thing and then we're just going to all get rid of workers and we'll move on. Let me save that a minute. Let's go back here to the sl slaughterhouse I can close. You I can close. You I can close. Let's go back to the boathouse. Let's put workers back in. Let's come back up here. I want to try one other thing before I turn this off. Let's go take it didn't work when I changed it to false let me take that out a minute and I want to go leaders per leaders per bulk four will you actually accept that Category is bulk four. Maybe if I just change it to leaders per worker? Let's try this really quick first. And if not, I'm going to move on. I'll play around with this off camera to try and get it to work. Save game eight. I want to get this area finished. I can, like I said, I can make workers, I can try and get that, that to work at a later date. I don't want to spend all day trial and error just to get a new concept to work. I can muss around with that at three o'clock in the morning when I can't sleep. All right, let's see if this is still gonna throw an error. Let me just jump out of here a minute because I don't like the in-game log because I can't see it. That got rid of my error. If this actually works, it's going to be a miracle. Let's throw... Don't look, I'm going to cheat workers in. So I have a bus full of workers, but I still have no trigger. They got rid of the error though. but it's not going to accept my workers in the trigger. Now I wonder if I go back to an exact fill route now instead of an animal trigger. So let me try one other thing. So I got rid of the error, I think. Yeah, that got rid of the error. So let's go back in here. Let's get rid of the animal trigger. Let's go back to just the exact fill route. Um, pallet trigger I don't need. You are going to be exact fill route node three. All right, let me save that. Let's come back in here and let's change this to 
um, exact fill root node. Let me copy this. Let me come down here and change this to here. And my I3D mapping should be 0, 2, and 0. And if this doesn't work, we're going to move on. All right, one last try. I mean, I can get them to load it the regular way at 120 liters, but the factory burns through them too quickly. Um, there was a map in FS17 that had workers, but I think it was done with the fabric script. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it works. I just can't get them more than 120 liters on the bus, or the, the visibility nodes don't work. And if the factory burns through 120 liters too quickly, and I'm not getting my trigger. So it's, I'm trying to unload them like you would a cow at a slaughterhouse where it's like 2,000 liters per cow. In this instance, it would be 2,000 liters per worker. I'm gonna mess around with this off camera. Do I have my trigger? Yeah, my no, my trigger didn't even spawn in. So I can't even spawn my trigger in that way. I'm trying to bump it up where it's... I'll mess around with this off camera. So let's come in here. Let's just to get this to work. I'm going to turn this back off. I'm going to turn this back off. I'm going to turn workers off here and here. And then I'm going to have to turn it back off in my 110. Alright, now I have to lower the water because our boats were coming in, they were bouncing. So there's a couple things I want to check. Let's, uh, I'm gonna, I need to lower the water a little bit. Let me go down on my speed. Yeah, I mean, I can produce workers in the fact in a factory per se. I can drop this down just a hair, and then I have my invisible planes under my spawners. I just want to make these visible a second, and then my spawners are sitting right on top of my invisible plane. All right, so that should work. So let's go invisible invisible. I lowered my water a little bit. So let's save this again. I'll make see if our boats are going to spawn in properly. And then I'll mess with workers another night off camera. I just wish I can get like in my factory XML under my boathouse. I'm putting in 45% of glue, 45% of wood. My lowest percent I could put in on a worker is 1%. I don't think a half a percent or a quarter percent or like 0 .001 works with the global company script. I mean, that's something else we can try. I could put it at like 0 .001 just to see if that works. But it's burning through the workers too quick. Here, I'll show you. Let me turn this back on and I'll show you what I mean. Let's throw workers back on. But we're going to take it to, I don't think it's going to work. Let's go point um, 0.01. So it's only using a very, very small percent of workers. I don't think I can use a decimal point 
in the global company factory. But I have to put, actually I have to change this. Um, let me just change that whole thing back out so it's working properly. Let me come up here to glue. Let me come back down here and re just replace this whole mess a minute and go back to a regular trigger. So we're going to go workers. I uh, need three sixty. I go workers, my trigger is going to be workers. I'm going to have to add exact fill root 3 back in. And it's going to be workers. And it is number 3 no palette trigger and then my exact fill root 3 my exact fill root 1 is oh stop control C is number 3 and it is 0 2 and 0. And then did I turn it back on to my 110? No, let me turn it back on here. Like I said, I can get them to unload. The factory just burns through them too quickly. And then let me just make sure I have exact fill root 3. And let me just move it back over here where it belongs. So exact fill root 3. And then save this. Should be 0 0.01. Okay, let me try that. 0 0.01. Well, this map is saving. So let's go back here. So, okay, so let's go 0 0.01. So let's save that. This is still saving. Like I said, I'm trying to get it where I'm dropping a cow off at a slaughterhouse where I could take one cow and make it 5,000 liters. So I'm trying to take one worker and I'm trying to make that one worker 2,000 liters, but it's I can't get it to work that way. So if we come back in here, I mean, I can go to the the, uh, the uh, express personnel on the map. I can drop off food and water. It, it's making me 120 liters of workers, so that part's working. But when I drop 120 liters off at the factory, it's burning through them too quickly. See, now I'm getting my unload trigger. So I can take the, the bendy bus, I can drive it here, I can unload my workers. I'm getting my work. Let me get a little bit of speed. I'm getting my workers in the factory. Draw walk around this side. My factory went. My factory is off. My factory should turn itself back on because I put workers back in. I want to make sure this thing turns itself back on. Let me go up to, let me turn my speed up a little bit. Let's go up to five speed for a minute. Okay, so that went active. So let me make sure my 
bolts are spawning in. Let me go up to 120 speed. I'm going to make sure my bolts are spawning back in the way they should. Oh, my water plane is still too high. I'm still going to have to drop the water down. Right, my bolts are spawning in, but it's burning through the workers too fast. Oh, I didn't change it from glue. It still says glue. It doesn't say uh, workers. But that actually may be working now. Hold on. Let me just fix a couple. Let me just fix something. And I want to, we're going to go back and give that another test. Did I forget to change? Your workers down there. Workers, workers, workers. I don't see where it says glue. Input three. That's what I forgot to change. Um, input three. All right. Now let's try that again and see if it uses them less quickly because it only makes two boats and I'm out of workers. I may have to start a new save game just to see if this is going to work. I've made too many changes to this factory on an existing save. So we take our bendy bus, we fill it full of our bendy workers, we drop them off at the factory, we pick them up in town, we bring them to the factory, we deliver our workers. Uh, I hate walking slow. Wish this thing, I could make that thing default to true instead of false. All right, so I have my workers, I have my glue, I have my logs. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to 120 speed. I don't want to go to 2,000 speed. Let's go to 120 speed. I want to make sure these boats are going to spawn in and not bounce off the trigger. And then we'll watch one more spawn in, and I'm going to go back and check. We'll probably be out of workers. Yeah, it's not liking that trigger. It's either not liking the trigger or it's not liking the water. One of the two. Or my next boat's not going to spawn in because I'm already out of workers. Oh no, it's using them a lot less. So I can maybe I can use a decimal point. Last time I tried to use a decimal point, it wouldn't work. So now I can, if if this is actually working. It only used one liter. Yeah, it only used one liter of workers. So it is going to work. I can use a decimal point. So now it's my concept is actually going to work. Now I just got to get the percentage right. So I used like 120, 120 liters of workers in a 24 hour period. So that's not a problem. I can, I can, um, now I can do the math. Well, let's go up to 100. Now let's go up to 2,000 speed. Let's fill this. Let's fill these triggers and see what it does to my workers. I'm just going to roll till it's daylight. And of course, it's raining. But that's all right. Let's go down to one speed. So how many workers did it use? It only used... Like eight liters of workers. All right, let's do something else real quick. 
let's let me get out of here a minute. Um, let's go to now. I could just play with this number. So let's go to point. Let's go to zero point one percent. Winston, thank you very much. Gamers Garage, YT, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for taking time out of your day and saying hello. Winston, if you're still here, let me know. I'll show you how I make workers. It's really cool. while I'm checking the uh, so let's throw our workers back in here so I have my workers I have my trigger I'm unloading my workers I'm watching while I'm finishing my map <laughs> yeah I always map work to do yeah let me uh, let me give this a quick test and then I'm gonna show you how I actually make the workers it's pretty cool so we drop our workers off. I have 120 liters of workers. I have enough logs. I have enough glue. Let me, um, let's go back to 2000 speed. Let's roll through the night and I'm gonna see how many workers I burn through. And then I, now I can go back and adjust the other factories that uses workers. So we're making our surfboards. We're making our rowboats. Uh, we're making our surfboards. Yeah, we're making our surfboards. We're making our rowboats. We're making our firewood. So that's working. How many workers did I burn through? Cool. That's almost perfect. So I want to be able to run one load of workers per a 24-hour game day. So now I just got to get the percentage right. All right, so let's just make sure. Um, do I have the new trailer in here that Papa Smurf is working on? I don't have the new trailer in here, but this one will work for now. I just want to make sure I can get these rowboats off the trigger and the triggers reset because that was the biggest problem is getting these triggers to reset. I, I swear I had the new trailer in here. Hold on a minute. Do I have a second trailer in here? I don't. I swear I had the new trailer in here. Oh, hang on, this one. Hold on. I want to try the new trailer. Uh, I'm going to grab this one. I want to grab the new trailer. Because I think Papa got the surfboards and the rowboats working on the new trailer. Um, let me go to, um, oh, we have a uh, 110 error. All right, so I want to let them know we, st we still have a 110 error. But let me see if it'll actually pick the rowboats up. 
It will. All right, so that's half the battle. So we're getting our rowboats. So we can take our rowboats and put them in storage or sell them. And then it cleared about half my triggers, which is fine. So let's. Are you still active? You are still active. Let's make sure it's going to make more rowboats. Uh, I'll go 2,000 speed for a couple minutes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they're going to bounce. That first one bounces. I'm going to have to play with that trigger a little bit. So only the first one bounces. The rest of mine land fine. All right. We're good. We can move on. It's working. Oh, well, let me show you how I make uh, workers real quick. So let me teleport my bike. Ignore this map. I built this off the island's base. Let me come over here to the animal dealer. And then let me just run across the street. Um, it's kind of dark in my stream. Let me roll. Let me roll over till the next day so it's not as dark in the stream. And of course, we're going to have another rainy day. So I'll roll two days if I have to. I'm not save. I can't save the save anyway. I just want it light enough for y'all to see. Let me see how it looks on my stream once it rolls to daylight. All right, I'm going to grab my store delivery mod because I need a couple things. I need my K100. I need a truck. I need my tipper. And I need a tanker. And I'm just going to I'm just going to buy one more bendy bus for the bendy people. Alright, so first up, and I'm going to have a couple of these built into the map. This is just the first one. Let me know if you all can see. Um, if not, I can roll through one more day just to get to daylight. But I'm going to throw some water in here. Where did I get the bus? I got we the bus is on uh on modhub.us. Actually no, Papa Smurf sent me the bus. I'm not sure where he got it. But you could it, it may be on modhub.us. I don't know. I forgot. This is the bus that Papa Smurf sent me. So now I drop off, I need to drop off food and water to the personnel office and then it makes me workers. So let me just grab some food. And right now I'm just using um, coffee, cranberry, carrots, or uh, peanuts for now. But I'm going to change it. This is just to get it to work. So let me just throw some something in here to drop off. Coffee works. So I'll drop off coffee. So I deliver food and water to the personnel office. I come over here by the bus stop. And in my peoples, it takes an hour and I have 120 workers. So let me go up to... 15 speed for just a couple minutes and my workers should start popping in go up to 30 speed for now 
So all my workers will pop in. I'm just going to go 2,000 speed to fill this. So all my workers will pop in. Then you just take the bendy bus and you drive to your personnel office. And I come over here. Let me turn the camera. And I just start filling my bus. And then all the people disappear from the bus stop and go on the bus. And then you take the bendy bus, you drive the bendy people to the factory, to whatever factory needs workers. So that how that's how my workers are going to work. Now that I can get the factory working where I don't use as much, it's going to make this even more fun. All right, let's get out of here. It's enough playing around. We got this map to finish. <laughs> okay, I'll ask Papa. Well, I'm still waiting for him. He is supposed to help me finish my mining map. Yeah, I know he, he's been really, really under the weather the last two weeks. Um... He's been helping me be, be with that new trailer, but we still can't get all of the errors out of it. And then he helped me get the bus working. So, but that's how my, my workers are going to work. Now, I just have to remember to go back and... Um, I'm going to play with this percentage to get it where it runs one game day, maybe two game days before I have to put more workers in. So... That I can play with off camera now that we have it working. Let me just check my log real quick and make sure I have no errors in the log. Um, there's an unknown fill type animation for error with the bus, but that's something Pop is working on. So no errors with the factories. All right, it is about 10 after 11. I'm going to go for about another half an hour and then I'm going to get out of here for lunch and I'll be back in an hour. So this is going to be our area now where we have we have our boathouse, we have the seaweed pond, we have the wood chipper. So this whole area is now going to become a forest because it's all one farmland. So let's start working on getting all getting rid of all of this grass. So it's no longer green. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to rough dirt. And then I'm going to put a whole bunch of rough dirt in. And then we're going to go back and put in some forest ground. And we'll get our trees and we'll get all that other happy stuff in. But let's get rid of... Alright, first thing I want to do... Let me get close some of the stuff I don't need open. Alright, get rid of that. Alright, so let's get our textures painted in. Because we're not going to have any grass in the forest. So I'm going to get rid of all of this green. And then we'll paint some forest ground in where our trees are going to be. Start cleaning this area up. Now that we have it functioning, we can make it look good. But I have my mining... My mining and my crushing are already working in this map. So the mining's done, the, the crushing is done. So we're spawning our boulders, we're taking with the crusher, we're crushing our boulders down. So that whole part is working. And I just got to get the rest of the global company functions in. And so we can bang this map out. I don't want to spend six months building it. I want to be done with this map in a month. All right, let's get some dirt. 
start through here. I'll probably leave a little bit of grass, but it's primarily going to be dirt and forest ground. Alright, so we have some dirt around that factory. Let's get some dirt around our seaweed pond. And then seaweed is used um, as a layer of fertilizer. So you can spread seaweed like you can solid fertilizer. And yeah, let me just come back through here. Keep some of the grass, but I want mainly dirt around the factory. that's fine. I'm going to turn the rest of that into forest ground. Let's get a little bit of dirt around our wood chipper. And then the rest of this I'm going to turn into forest ground. But I want to get a road or a path around this factory. And then we'll get some roads. I don't think I'm going to fence this square in. I think I'm going to leave it open. Now we can go to our forest ground because the rest of this is going to be a big forest. But I don't want to lose my gravel along the road. And then we'll figure out how we're going to get in and out of this area. We'll make a couple roads in and out. But let me get my forest ground down first. I didn't think it would take me that long to get the workers working in the in the factories. I know, I still have my traffic splines visible. I've got the hotter balloon to mess with yet. I have all the train crossing signals to put in yet. We're still a good two months out, but I want to try and get this done a lot quicker than it took me to build the islands map. I do want to take this forest right out to the road though. So that's I'm not leaving any grass along the road. Come on. I swear I'm with this mouse is gonna go out the window one of these days. Because my clicky don't work half the time. Yeah, we're going to 
this is actually going to be a bigger forest than I thought it was going to be. But like I said, I'm going to leave a spot in the middle. You could put your put some placeables down. You could put your sawmill down. Put a couple of your other placeables in here that use the wood products. I think I'm going to take the forest though and I think I'm going to go up here. I'm going to leave a little bit of grass along the mountain. Or do I want to? Now nah, let's just take it all the way to the mountain. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of grass there and then we'll take our forest and we can take it right back to the mountain. A little bit of grass going down the hill. Just once I get the outline done, we'll fill this all in. Uh, about eleven twenty. I'll take you back a little bit there. And then we'll come back and we'll put some roads in with the rough dirt. All right, let's get. Try and get most of this painted in. Perfection takes time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't have patience, though. I've never had patience. Like, if I go to Walmart and the one card I use, I can't go to self-checkout, so I have to go to a regular line. And I've already spent you know, spent half an hour walking around Walmart filling up my shopping cart. And if I get up to the line, Walmart's famous for having one register open and 20 people in line waiting for that one register. I've already walked out and left the full cart sitting at the registers and went somewhere else and got what I needed. So yeah, I don't have a lot, I don't have a lot of patience. I'll back that out a little bit. I don't want to go down into the water. I know what I do want to do though. We're going to change this up a little bit. But at least after I get my textures done. So I want to put another lake up here. So we are going to change this up a little bit more. And then I am going to leave room over here. Somewhere over in here, we're going to put in another farmhouse and some barns and stuff. So it'll probably take me the rest of the day to get this area done. But I want this area to be primarily forest. All right, I'm going to leave room over 
here in this corner for a farmhouse. So let's take this texture along the mountain. And I want to leave room here to put in a uh, a farmyard. So we're gonna take you. We'll take you out to the road somewhere about there. But the rest of this is primarily forest. house is like really quiet today. It's like spooky quiet today. And I don't know why. Even the dog is too quiet today. out of here. I put the trees in the forest in I want to there's a couple more things I want to do I want to get the farm yard in and the farmhouse in because that'll and I want to get another water plane in here and make another lake before I put all the trees in I want to make some roads through here before we put all the trees in. So I'm going to get all that set up. But I do want to put in the, right in the center, I do want to leave a big spot for placeables because you're going to have to put your own sawmill down, well, mammoth mill down. You're going to have to put your own, all your own factories down that use the wood products. So that should be enough room. Do I that should be enough room to put the sawmill that to put mammoth mill down but we'll check it we'll check it in game before i put all the trees in but that should be enough area to put mammoth mill down because this um fact this map's going to be pretty much place your own the only thing i have built into the map is um all of my mining so we have my mines. I have the crusher, um, the bait house to make fish bait, fish processing and fishing. I have my two water fields. Then we have the slaughterhouse, the poultry barn, um, the boathouse, the seaweed pond, and the wood chipper. And that's pretty much going to be all the global company functions built into the map. So you got to put your own mammoth mill down, your own drywall factory, glue factory textile mill so you're gonna to have to put all that down on your own so now I want to grab
Um, let's go new transform group. Uh, we're going to call this. What are we going to call this? We're going to call this, for lack of better terms, we're going to call this f just farm one. It's going to be right about there. So you're going to be farm one. So inside of farm one, I need two more transform groups. You are going to be visibility you're going to be invisibility. Now, before I go too much further, let me do a, another quick save. I want to get the farmyard, the farmhouse, and the farmyard built first. It's only going to be small. It's pretty much only going to be a farmhouse, garage, like mailbox, driveway, couple trees, little fence. And then it's probably going to be maybe just two sheds. And then you'll have to put all your own down. But at least I'll get you started with a house up here. So if you want to make this your, you can put your own sleep trigger down. If you want to call this your farm. Alright, so that, let me fly over to my staging area, and I want to grab a couple things. I want to grab a, a house, and like a house, a garage, And we'll start getting ourselves set up. So I've got a little staging area over here with a bunch of extra crap. So let's grab a house for that area. Um, you'll work. So let's duplicate that. And then let's go edit cut visibility, edit paste. So that'll be the house we're going to use. And it already has a does it have a garage? It has a little bit of a detached garage. Um, I'm going to give it one more garage too. So let me come down here. I want to grab... Oh, that's a double garage. And it's closed. I thought I had another garage. Uh, did I not put it down? I probably didn't put it in my staging area. That's alright, I'll use the double one. Let me duplicate this guy. And I'm going to throw him in this other transform group. Alright, so this gives us a house and a garage. I'm going to grab... Uh, so what fence do I want to fence that house in with? Um, it's going to be foresty, so I don't want anything too fancy. Let's grab... Oh... Uh, which fence do we want? I don't want the dark picket one. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of fencing. Let's just grab one of these guys. Duplicate that. And then let's go throw that in my transform group. Let's go edit cut and 
paste. All right, that works. It gets us a house. That gets me a garage to get started with. And then I need the sh where's my open shed? Over here. Let me grab an open shed. Let me grab this guy. So let me duplicate him. And then he's gonna go up here as well. Oh, went too far. Edit, cut, and paste. I want to move that up one. All right, so let's get those three in. And so farmhouse. you're gonna come down I'm gonna leave you a little bit of a backyard yeah we'll go like that I'll leave you a little bit of a backyard so let's go to the garage and we're gonna give him a second garage Put him like so. But I'm going to leave a little bit of gap to get through there. Alright, that works. Alright, now I'm just going to drop these other two pieces here so I know where they're at. They're not floating. Let me grab my shed. I'm just going to drop it there for now. I'm going to move that. And I'm just going to drop my fence there for now. Alright, so let's go to concrete. And let's get our garage and our driveway figured out. Um, so we're going to come in probably something like this. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll take there's a door here, so we'll have a sidewalk there. And then we'll put a little sidewalk coming along the front here. Actually, is that the... No, that's the way I want the house to face. So we'll go a little bit of concrete there. Nope. I don't like it. We're going to go back to grass. So let's, let me undo that. We're going to just keep it going to this door here. And so, and then we'll go. And there should be a back. Yeah. So over on this side, let me go down on my speed. So over on this side, we'll give it a patio back here that wraps around to this side. It doesn't need to be quite that big, but so let's, let me lower that down. So you're going to come out. 
you're going to come out on this side for now I because I'm going to grab where is my other house It's in Waterfield 1. I want the trampoline, so let me duplicate that. I'm going to cut it from there. And we're going to go down here. We're going to go Edit, Paste. And we're going to have our trampoline. I also want to grab uh, I want to grab the clothesline pole and duplicate that and I'm going to go edit cut and paste. So we'll have our clothesline. I want to grab. Uh, I want to grab the slide. So edit, cut, and paste. So we'll get our slide. And then I also want the outdoor furniture. Same thing. So we've got to move it to a different transform group. So we'll go edit, cut, and paste. And then I want the grill. Back up here, I want the canopy. So we'll duplicate that. And then we'll come down here. All right, so where's my fence? My fence is there. So you've got to move up above the fence and you have to move up above the fence all right that works so now let's grab our clothesline pole or clothesline come on grab our clothesline so it'll go in the backyard but closer to the garage that works and then we take our canopy prefab and we throw it here. So we can barbecue. And then we take our table and we move that more over here. like so and we take our slide and we'll put it over here in the side yard so we'll put our slide over the, this way we'll take our trampoline it can go near the slide and now we'll give them a little bit of a sandy area to work on or to play in so give them a little bit of sand. And then let's get just a little bit more. Where's my concrete? So let's bring a walkway back this way a little bit. That works. And then let me come over here. 
and let's grab a wood stack. Uh, that'll work. So let me duplicate that. Drop it down here. And I'll get a wood stack behind the garage. If I move this clothesline pole a little bit. Well, let's get some firewood over here. And I'll probably make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, let's go like 0 0.9, 0 0.9. And I could take it even a little bit smaller if I need to. Yeah, I want it. I don't want it that wide. So let's go. Let's go like point seven. All right, that looks better. Get our firewood there, and let's slide our clothesline down a little bit. Get it more in the backyard. And then we're going to have, let's turn our shed so it's backed up to the house. So we're going to give them a little bit of a yard. So we'll face our lunch shed that way. And then I want to face. Do I want to see? Yeah, let's, let me duplicate that one. Uh, we'll throw a second one in. Backed up to the cliff. Uh, let me leave a little bit of room behind it to put some shrubs and stuff in. So we'll slide you over like that. But I want to move this up. So they both spawn in at the same time, or one spawns in right after the other one. So let's bring you, and I don't want to leave too much of a gap between them, so right about there. Alright, so we'll have our driveway coming in to the house. Um, that'll work. Now we can work on our fence. Let's move. Oh, you have to get moved up. You have to get moved up. My fence. Now we can start working on fencing. Alright, I gotta make you a little bit taller. So let's go one point two and then my length I like to go to two so we'll make it a little bit longer and we'll get it touching the ground so now let's get our fence coming in I don't want now let's go to like 1.5. Alright, that worked. That looks better. So now we'll get our fence coming in. Um, let me do this first. Uh, let's go to minus 90. And we'll bring you like here, or about there. Now let's take you back to the bridge so you look a little bit better. Oops. 
So we'll start here. And I'm going to actually delete that one in a minute. So this will be our first fence. I'm not going to fence the whole yard in. I just wanted to find the, the driveway and the ha and the yard proper. And then the rest of this is going to stay an open lot. Um, yeah, I want to leave. Actually, that works out pretty good. And then let's slide you out, and then we'll turn you coming back up the driveway. And we'll take you over to the garage. about grass and stuff later. But this will give you a home a place to put a sleep trigger down. is that part in a little bit coming into the garage. Now I, I'm going to add a little bit more concrete in right in through here. Something like that. And then let's grab this guy. And I'm going to make this driveway a little bit wider, but let's grab, let's get a. Uh, so, how wide do we want him? Come on, give me that next square. You're not going to be bringing farm equipment in or anything in here. This is just so you can come in here and sleep with like a pickup truck or a car. Actually, no, you know, I'm not going to fence that side and I'll leave that side open. Let's do this. Let's leave that side open. Let's bring, let's come over here, let's branch off of this guy. So we can come in from there, drive around your property and then just go back that way. I 
can live with that. Um, and then let's get, now let's take that last section of fence. And let's come over this way. Uh, we take it back to 1.5. So now we can come over this way. And I want to leave a little bit of a walkway to get in there, but I want to bring this, uh, so more of this angle from the edge of the garage. Yeah, right about there. So let's start at the garage, work our way back. Gets us about where I want to be. Yeah, I'm going to, as soon as I get the rest of this fence back to the house, I'm going to get out of here for lunch. I'll be out of here, I'm going to jump off for about an hour. I'm gonna, I'll grab some lunch and then I'll come back in. one more so I want to leave yeah a little bit of a walkway to get through there all right so that'll define our house and that'll define where our sheds are going to be so you can go we'll have one road coming in there so we're going to actually going to take the forest I think right up to that road so let me just paint this real quick and then I'm going to get out of here for lunch. So let me go back to my forest ground. And then let's take, let's push our forest now up to the farm yard. Oh, a little bit too far. Let me redo that. I'm not too concerned with grass on this side of the driveway. So that'll all be forest. That side will be forest. We'll have a one road coming in there along the farmyard. And then up here, and I got, yeah, I got to get out of here for lunch. So we'll just get the rest of these roads defined real quick. So we'll have another road coming in somewhere into here, into the where your sawmill is going to be. Something like that. So one road coming in there, and it will have so we'll branch off. Let me get my width about where I want it. So I'll have another road coming in like to here. So we can come over to this factory. And then we'll throw another road um, coming from here back into where your sawmill is going to be. So something like that. And then we'll have I'm gonna have a road over here. 
we'll have a road over here coming in somewhere about here going over towards the boathouse so let's get this area defined so we'll have a road coming in here and then from your boathouse we'll, you can go back into your forest area or your sawmill area we'll have a sawmill somewhere in there so something like that and then we'll have a road have another road so you can come along here and come over this way so something like that I'll clean up the edges this is just getting them roughed in where I want them and now I'm gonna actually throw one more road in going back like this way so we'll do something like that and then coming over this way we can come we can come along this factory and then back out this way little bit too wide let's come back this way something like that we'll make it pretty and then we'll have from this factory you don't need to go into the forest so that I'm not gonna put another road there so you're gonna come out and actually I'm gonna take this I'm gonna make this a dirt road coming this way Yeah, yeah, that looks much better. To there, and then we'll have our staging area. So you could put more sheds and stuff down. So let's change a good bit of this back to just dirt. And we'll give you a staging area here. And we'll give you room to put a um, couple more sheds and stuff down so I'm gonna get rid of the forest behind it that works and we'll give you more room I'm gonna leave you a little bit more room to put placeable sheds and whatever you want down so let's make you a placeable area here actually let's make you a placeable area all the way around the seaweed pond I'll just put some trees along there. All right, so you, that is going to be about right. No, oh, no, one more. We need one more road going from here um, over into your sawmill area. So something like that. something like that so that'll be our saw you'll be able to put your placeable sawmill down right in the middle and then you can go out whichever direction you want until you cut all your trees down and you can make your own roads all right I'm gonna do a quick save I'm gonna throw you all on um, ending soon I'm gonna jump off of here for an hour I'm gonna grab some lunch make some fresh a fresh pot of coffee And then we'll finish this area up. Hopefully we can get this area finished after lunch. But I want to take Farm Chick 63. Enjoy lunch. Thank you. Um, 
and then hopefully we can get this area completely finished um, after lunch and then I want to go back and I want to fix a couple of the factories that are using workers so now that we know that they work properly but anyway that's a problem for after lunch I'll catch you all in about an hour